Good evening, Fillmore. Good evening, Arnold. Our top story tonight, bobbles, bricks, rubber dicks, and light bulbs. What are people putting in their butts these days? Hi, I'm Fillmore. God damn it. Good evening, Fillmore. Good evening, Arnold. Tonight, our top story, bobbles, bricks, rubber dicks, and light bulbs. What are people putting in their butts these days? In other news, samurai cannibal pandas have destroyed and are still destroying small villages in China. Wow, those poor, poor villagers. Yeah, and they're also eating themselves, so it's a, it's a pretty miserable sight. Uh, people are killing themselves and instead of being eaten by pandas, and the pandas are also eating themselves, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fucked up. We, Do these pandas know no remorse? Uh, they like to eat themselves, Arnold. They like to eat themselves. Sometimes it makes you wonder this cruel, cruel world that we exist in on Chaos News Network. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. My uncle got a nunchuck stuck up his ass just last week. He's not the only one who had something in his ass last week. The history of butt play has gone back centuries, maybe even a couple millennia, uh, to our primitive ancestors, um, when we were more in a primeval state, I should say, uh, when, you know, the Romans really got their stuff rolling with uh, the orgies and whatnot, and, uh, yeah. But truly, we will never be able to know who made that first brave anal breach. <laughs> The, the history of butt play has gone on for so long and so well, we can only wonder how much further will it go now that we have butt plugs and, you know, many other toys to satisfy our mm. anal clitorises that are not only men's, but women's as well. Everyone can enjoy a G-spot orgasm. In fact, uh, Shakespeare was very fond of the uh, touching of butts and... The breaching. Um, there, he even wrote a very romantic play with a uh, anal scene, and it was actually quite beautiful. Historians debate whether or not Da Vinci created the first butt plug. That is actually yes. It's well documented that he also enjoyed anal fornication. And grandparents, uh, my grandparents used to tell us wonderful stories of butt breaching and how it has brought in most of our families together. There's nothing quite like ball slapping against the taint, is there, Fillmore? No, there isn't, Arnold. Well, from Chaos News Network, we would like to move now to our final close. Cannibalistic panda bears have invaded. They've taken over just about all of the West Coast. It's Red Dawn out here. Wolverines! <laughs>